Today I have a blue plate for my blueberry pancakes. And here they are. Don't they look delicious? So I have a secret today. I found my thrill. But guess what? It wasn't on a hill. It was on top of a stack of pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Today we're going to make paleo style blueberry pancakes. So let's get started, shall we? Today we're going to need quite a few things because we are really making pancakes. So we're going to need three eggs, the juice of half a lemon, which is about a tablespoon. We're going to need some baking soda and some baking powder. We're going to need some raw honey and we're going to need some vanilla, coconut flour, and some tapioca flour. And we are going to obviously need blueberries. Thank you. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, first we're gonna take a bowl and whisk in three eggs. And I like to take my eggs and break them in a separate container just to make sure that there are no bad eggs in the bunch. I learned this trick from my mom years ago. My mother used to bake cakes a lot when we were growing up. And what she would do is she would take each egg, break it into a separate bowl, and remove any parts of the egg that were bad before she put them in her batter uh, bowl. I miss my mom. Hope she's smiling down on me from heaven, saying, girl, I'm proud of you. So then I take that second egg. So we want to make sure, because sometimes I open an egg and it's rotten or, you know, it has a bad smell. So you don't want that to already be in your bowl. All right, so let's take these three eggs, place them in our big bowl, and we're going to whisk, whisk, whisk away here. And whenever I can't get my eggs from a farmer, I get them from a grocery store. I get free range or cage free chicken eggs. Okay, next to these eggs, we're going to add half a cup of almond milk plus three tablespoons. So we have our almond milk, and we're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk away. And to this mixture, we're going to add honey. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of our organic honey. And what I do is I have a little trick. I know it's not paleo because it's processed, but there's a coconut cooking spray that I use. I just spray my tablespoon or whatever measuring device I'm going to use with the cooking spray so that I can get a cleaner, so that the honey or whatever it is that might stick to that device will come out a lot better. So I'm squeezing in my honey and I've already sprayed my measuring spoon with some coconut spray and look how easily it comes out. And see, there's nothing left in that spoon. Today. All right, so whisk away, add your honey, and then we're going to add lemon juice. And here's another trick lemon juice, half of a lemon is about a tablespoon, and all we need for this recipe is a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're going to cut this lemon in half, and then we're going to juice it. I have a little juicer here that I use. I love my juicer, I use it for everything oranges lemons, you name it. So I have a little juicer here and I'm going to juice this lemon. And like I said, half a lemon is roughly a tablespoon. So you can use that. And if you want to go ahead and measure it, you can, just to be sure. And maybe I can do it for you just to kind of prove that it just is. There it is. Try not getting any seeds in it for you. Yep, see, it's a tablespoon. There you have it. All right, so we've got that lemon juice in. That's a fresh lemon. And we whisk, 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 whisk. And then, in a separate bowl, we're going to add our dry ingredients, okay? For our dry ingredients, we will need coconut flour and tapioca flour. So, we're going to add half a cup each of coconut flour and tapioca flour, all right? Okay. 
half a cup of coconut. And I'm going to add half a cup of tapioca. Alright, so we're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients once we give it a mix. always looks clumpy like this but I want to thin it out a little more so I add a little bit more almond milk now we need to add to this mix our vanilla baking powder salt and baking soda so first let me do the vanilla we're only gonna do about a teaspoon of vanilla mix and then I'm going to get a little bit more almond milk. There we go. And whisk, whisk, whisk. There we go. About the consistency you want. I know it looks weird, but that's about the consistency you want. Don't, I know you think it looks strange, but I'm telling you, when you get the pancakes out, you'll be like, ooh, that's not bad at all. So, I know it looks strange, but, I know it looks strange, but, you'll like it. So now, I'm going to add half a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Now, I use sea salt or kosher salt. You can use whichever one you choose. For this recipe, I'm using a healthy pinch of kosher. And I'm gonna stir these in to our mix. And then I'll meet you over at the skillet so we can get these pancakes cooking. Yum, yum. Okay, we're back and we're at the skillet. So, for those of you who know me, you know I like to use a lot of ghee. And so I've greased this pan with ghee, which is just clarified butter. And now I'm going to put about a three inch pancake on about three or four, you know, several three inch pancakes in the skillet, okay? And those pancakes begin to bubble on the surface. That's when you add the blueberries. So we'll let them cook a little bit and we'll let them start to bubble up around the surface and I'll drop handfuls of blueberries in. I wish you could smell them. Okay, now it's time to add some blueberries. Now, I'm gonna flip the first one that I put in because I think it might be ready. Yeah, it's a little brown. But that's all right. It's gonna taste just fine. Believe me, that's it. And I'm trying to flip them in the order that I put them in the skillet so that, you know, they won't be underdone. Sometimes I have 
have to flip them over again, but you know, they're gonna be pretty dense. So usually when I eat them, I only eat one pancake, do you believe it? I know you might want to eat stacks and stacks, but I'm telling you, if you eat a couple of stacks or a big stack of these pancakes, you're gonna be full for the rest of the day. You won't want any more food, take it from me. There you go. And see, the blueberries look like that once they've cooked in, all right? So for those of you who don't know me, my favorite color is blue. And today I have a blue plate for my blueberry pancakes, paleo style. Now all you need is some maple syrup and your favorite breakfast meat. Enjoy. Make sure you try this recipe, comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. This is Charlene saying always eat clean. See you next time.